Hi everyone. Hi. Welcome back to our favorite things. This time it's in February. We haven't done it for a little while because we didn't film one in December. We didn't film one we in... We did do one in December, didn't we? No. We didn't do one in December. We didn't do one in January. So we're bringing it back. We really like filming them. Hopefully you enjoy um, watching them. Am I going first? Okay. First up, I apologize. It's all Costco stuff again. <laughs> Oh my God. But it is Every stuff you can time. also buy at other places. So I will just preface it by saying I do not approve of one of them. <laughs> You'll know when you see it. <laughs> um, first up, I'm going to show you this Australian green tea. Now you can get this at Costco, but you can get it in Asian supermarkets. Even you can get it at Coles and Woolies the, and stuff. You I know, think in the Asian section. Yeah. So it's. Um, cold it's unsweetened i buy a 12 pack from work for about 24 dollars i think um and i just have them in the Is fridge a 12 pack what you buy yeah huh. um it's 24 dollars yeah so it's expensive $2 yeah each. i don't think it's cheaper at no. costco than anywhere else but no. i just buy it at costco because I work it's there convenient. and it's easier it's um and i just put the put them in the fridge um i like them cold um, they are unsweetened, so the ingredients are water, whole green tea leaves, antioxidant, and, and acidity regulator. So, no carbs, really nice, refreshing. In the summer, nice I like summer. having a cold mm -hmm. tea kind of after dinner, and I've been avoiding Pepsi since um, 1st of January, and I'm still doing it, so I'm really proud of myself, and this kind of stuff helps. Yes. The sparkling mineral waters yep. and this make me feel like I'm having something other than water and yes. hot tea. And when we went to Japan, we absolutely loved because you can get there's so many varieties, all these different varieties of these like Oolongs unsweetened. And... Yeah, and it was awesome. We would just always get them at the Seven Elevens. It's a shame that we only really have that kind of Lipton, which isn't really like it's super sweet. It's not really like tea to me. But these, yeah, we both really. We like both them. like these, yeah. Okay, I am going to start with this was actually my Christmas present from Dan. Ordered by Erica. Yes. Picked out by Erica. <laughs> but I have been wanting a new handbag for ages, but I'm a little bit fussy because I like a crossbody one, but I also wanted to have enough length because I'm larger to kind of sit properly across and mm -hmm. like quite far down. I hate it when it sits like too high up on my belly and like one that is a decent size that I can fit like my wallet um, a glasses case because I have sunglasses that I like to swap and just a few other bits and pieces and I really love this one it's from Wanderers Travel Co um, and it's like really soft nice leather they come in heaps of colors and they have heaps of different styles as well it's actually an Australian brand which is nice um, and it came with a free little kind of matching coin purse thing as well and you can adjust the size of it so you can see I've got that zipper at the bottom open so you can have it smaller again if you want and I just love yeah I just have been really happy with it and I've been I used to always get uh, handbags from Fossil I really like them but they're so expensive and they haven't had good ones no, that I suited you for a while yeah because I like it fairly kind of plain I guess like neutrally type colors so yeah I've been really happy so if anyone's looking for a handbag Wanderers Travel Co I think is what it's this called this is a Fossil edition she added oh that was off my old handbag it just because we had it my engraved it. yeah <laughs> has my name on it um but yeah i really like it next up for me if you've been watching um dan versus the kitchen or our other vlogs i have been talking a lot about prosciutto <laughs> so this is from costco and i actually think i prefer the one from costco over prosciutto that we've bought at the regular supermarket the reason is we did buy one when we were in lemon tree passage to do in the oven so i've been baking it so i put about three or four slices on a baking tray in a 200 degree oven for about eight to ten minutes and it goes super crispy mm. it's really thin so it doesn't take much for it mm. to go crispy and it it's because it's so thin it's quite fragile but um, it's so good, isn't mm. it? It's so delicious. It's really crunchy. The one that I tried from Coles 
was so salty it was almost inedible. Do you remember eating it? Yeah, it was I just like I mean, I, I find can't, it salty. This like it, is, it salty. is salty. But the Coles one, yeah, it was... It was, was too salty. Mm. It was almost... And I really like salty flavour. Yeah. And I could barely eat it. Yeah. This is not... This one is proper Parma prosciutto. Right. Like it's made in Italy, from right, what I can okay. tell. Product of Italy. Yeah. yeah. So it's proper prosciutto. The ingredients are two things. It is... Um, Pork, leg, and salt. Right. So really yeah, good ingredients. Zero carb. The paper peels off nicely. You get a nice big chunk of prosciutto on the pan. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And I think baking it is the key. I don't really like it raw. Some people no, like to eat like raw prosciutto. It's too it's, chewy. Yeah, it's not like our thing, it. but I really like it baked. But... You want to, if you buy it from somewhere else, just try and buy like proper prosciutto. This yeah. costs, I think, about $19 for this two pack. So again, it's not super cheap, but I think for prosciutto, it is cheap. Yeah. And it's really nice if you're doing a Caesar salad to do that, bake it in the oven and then crumble, crumble it. it up and it gives you like a really nice texture. Also, you could have like scrambled eggs and kind of scoop it up with the little kind of prosciutto you can try that, but don't overload it because it's fragile. <laughs> Just saying. I bake it every day. Next, for me. What are you going to do? Okay, so my third one is the Reminders app on your phone, which I think we've talked about on a vlog before that we use it. Um, and it's very handy because we can have it across both of our phones. We share And it. we can both update it take things off, add things on, and it updates automatically. So we always have just a regular grocery shopping list going, which is shared between the two of us. So if at any point, you know, you put the last roll of toilet paper, you can just add toilet paper on and I'll know when I go, because I usually probably do the shopping by, by yourself now, because it's just so much easier yeah. to do it during the day and not on yes. the weekend. So it's great that we, we just kind of add things as we go to that, or if we're sitting down, like when we were working out the meal plan for the week, we just would like add things to there as we go. And we always have a Costco shopping list on the go as well. So if I'm like, we need some more cauliflower rice or whatever, I just add it on there and I don't have to like pester Dan and she can, if she's grabbing some things, she can just check that. And we also have other things just to keep in mind. So like, for example, this video, we quite often uh, think of things during the month that we would want to add. So we have a there. list of our favorite things. So we, you know, we come to the end of the month. We remember we have a list of like TV shows that people recommend we should watch because quite often you sit down to watch something and you're flicking through for half an hour trying to find something. We have a list of things people have recommended. Um, we even like T2, we have the teas that we like because we go to purchase them. I can't remember which ones we liked and didn't like. And a whole list of like Dan versus the kitchen things that I can do because On the thing is we, videos. we often say to each other, oh, we should do this or whatever. And then a week later we go, what did we say? So it's really helpful for us to have this reminders, um, app. It is specific to Apple, right. but I am sure that Android would, would have, have a similar, similar app for sure. There'd, there'd, be, there'd be heaps of different ones. We just like the reminders one on Apple because we're Apple people. And, and it's it automatically suits. on your phone, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you can just easily type things in there and then there's a little thing and, and you can tick just, it off. You just tick it off and it disappears from the list when it's done. We even have one that's like, weekend tasks like Job things, sharp things and that we need to, been on there to for do about on the two weekend. months but it's just it's an, a good way of like rather than trying to keep all those things in your head having it there and i love that we the can share across. things and you could share it with other members of your family or you know other yeah things i had a well. costco one with erica's sister with erica's mum. they didn't really use it so i've deleted it because i didn't like it filling up my thing but it works really well for us yes so definitely like, well, i love it for a sh just for even if you use it for a shopping list and have all of your family on it so they can add things and not say mom we need toilet yeah. paper like <laughs> okay my last one is the one that erica is absolutely disgusted with <laughs> but at work last week they transitioned the clothes over from summer to the winter clothing so there's all jumpers 
tracksuit pants. So the thing with me, if I could live in tracksuit pants for my the rest of my life, I would 100% do that. I am comfort all the way. I love wearing tracksuit pants. And then um, last week they moved these tracksuit pants right in front of the hearing aid center. And I felt like these were made specifically for me. They are Puma. They look really nice, but they have cargo pockets on the side. How amazing is that? I'm gonna put them on in a minute and I will show you what they look like on. I think they look really good. Erica is mortified and will not be seen <laughs> with me in public with them on. She has already specifically said that. Like, they were $30. I, I bought like. tracksuit pants last year from Rebel three pairs and none of them were under 70 or 80 dollars it was ridiculous these yeah, were 30 dollars and they're puma and they're actually they're nice they're good quality i will yeah. say that and they're nice the and only very, thing like, you don't like about warm. them is the pockets the cargo pockets is not my thing because also dan then loads them up <laughs> with stuff and she's rattling around like wait until i wear these with a hoodie with a pouch on the oh front my. she will not be seen because the hoodie pouch gets full with my Starlets and keys and pines. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're very good. I'm glad you're happy with them. <laughs> okay. My last, last thing is my overalls. I have always wanted to have a pair of overalls. Since you were like 10 years old Since or something? Since I was like 10 years old, you know, they weren't easy to find in my size. And um, then it got to a point where it's like, am I too old to wear overalls? But and I, then it came back around to a point where I'm wearing overalls. <laughs> I, was like, I don't really care what people think I'm wearing. Overalls. And Dan's probably mortified. Maybe we I'm should wear not. these together. I wear the overalls, you wear these, and we'll just be like those. Living our best we'll just life. Be those people. But I will say, I absolutely love them. These are from Lucy and Yak, which is like a UK brand. This top is from them too. It's cute. It says hugs. Um, but yeah, I got these, and I got these are short ones. And I got um, so a long pair too, which are a different style. I really like these ones. They're super comfy. The other ones are like clown. <laughs> the other ones are very baggy. They're like really baggy. These ones are a bit more fitted. I will say the only thing I don't like is the whole going to the toilet situation because I do have to undo it all. And I guess it's similar to if you wear like a jumpsuit or a play suit or whatever. But yeah, I absolutely love them. And they have loads of really like... Cool colours. Yeah, them. like really bright colours, really crazy like patterns. I didn't feel like I could do that with my first pair of overalls. I went with... You know, classic black. I didn't want to make it you too You didn't do obvious. black on both of them, did you? The other one's a denim. So, yes. Absolutely. So, yeah, definitely they shipped to Australia. It was pretty quick shipping. Um, yeah, and they have heaps. They have a massive range of sizes and all different styles. Um, they just have some really cool, unique um, patterns and colours. So, yeah, definitely check it out if you're wanting to live your best adult life in overalls. Okay, I thought maybe we could have a little bit of fun with this. And in the comments, you could let us know what your favorite thing has been in February. Just pick yeah. one thing. I'm always looking for new things, new ideas, what could people are liking. Absolutely it doesn't have to be low carb related. As you can see, we don't only mention low carb in these videos. It's just whatever we've been loving for the month. So your task, comment below one favorite thing it doesn't need to be a new thing it can just yeah. be something that in february you were like i have just been loving this yeah hopefully you have enjoyed listening to us crap on about our favorite things in february um we like filming these videos hopefully you enjoy them we will be back in march with our favorite things in march and thank you so much for watching bye, bye.